True Karate is complete and perfectly suitable as a system for self-defense. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. Have you always wanted to know more about karate but are you just a little embarrassed to ask? Keep watching because here are 10 facts about karate everyone should know. Number 1. Karate started in Okinawa. There it was formed as a sort of cocktail of many different Chinese and Southeast Asian martial arts. Number 2. My dojo and this channel are called Kani Uchi. The style under which I started karate is Wado Ryu. Today this translates roughly as the school of the path to harmony and was founded by Mr. Otsuka Hironori in 1939. Number 3. One of Otsuka's masters was Funakoshi Gichi. He is known as the father of modern karate and he founded a style that would later be called Shotokan. Shoto refers to the sound the wind makes when it blows through the pines and it was the name Funakoshi used when he wrote poetry. Number 4. Wado Ryu has 15 kala. We have the 5 Pinan kala and 10 advanced kala which are Basai Nisei, Shiwanshu, Naihanshi, Kushanku, Rohai, Jion, Jite, Chinto and Seishan. Number 5. There are many different karate styles but the same kala are often practiced in different styles. These kala often get different names. For example, Wanshu in Wado Ryu is also known as MP in Shotokan, whereas the kata Wankan in Shotokan is also known as Matsukaze in Shitoryu. Different styles tend to practice different versions of the same kata, and sometimes two different kata will have the same name. Number 6. Some of you may have heard karate was invented by farmers and peasants to defend themselves against the samurai. Now, this is simply just not true. The only Okinawans that had a time to play around with the arts, including martial arts, were noble dignitaries. Oh, and if you're enjoying this video, then punching that like button would be dignified. Number seven, a common myth is karate is only punching and kicking. However, karate has much more to offer, including holds, throws, groundwork, pressure points, chokeholds, takedowns, etc. True karate is complete and perfectly suitable as a system for self-defense. However, I must admit that many dojos do not offer all these techniques. Number 8. Ito Suanko. He was the master who created the Pinankala series to make the martial art more accessible to children in elementary schools. He succeeded in introducing karate into school curricula in Okinawa and was later one of the pioneers in bringing it to Japan even if he never actually lived there. He also further developed some of my favorite kata, the Rohai series, though he did not create them. Needless to say, he was very influential and taught many of the founders of the currently existing karate styles, like Otsuka. Just kidding, he did not teach Otsuka. Number 9. This is Motobu Choki. He is rumored to only teach one kata as a full and complete self-defense system. This kata was Naifanshi, also known as Naihanshi or Teki. Number 10. So karate means empty hand. Before it came to Japan, it was known under another name, or at least written differently. It was called Todi, which means China hand. Now the character To can also be pronounced as Kara. So they change it to another character that can also be pronounced as Kara. So Chinese hand was rebranded to empty hand. And there you go, 10 little factoids about karate. I do hope it was informative. Of course, you can only really learn karate by also doing it. And if you like, go ahead and click here for some of my favorite applications from one of our kata, Pinan Sandan. Have a great day, and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris once shot an enemy plane down with his finger by yelling, bang.